come to understand that a pause is not a defeat. It's actually an opportunity to continue being victorious if you put everything in perspective. Anything that is purposeful will require sacrifice. That, you know, you get on this roll and you're like, yeah, we're moving, then all of a sudden it halts. And so it can almost feel like you're a failure. Others are just continuing, and so you gotta get back in the race, you gotta keep moving. You do good just to wash your face and brush your teeth. That's a victory. I'm not looking for everything to equal out. I'm gaining perspective. Stay at home mom life, homeschool life, working mom life, doing life. <laughs> it's just been a minute since we just had a moment to talk. It's interesting because I was looking back through some of my videos and I couldn't believe in just a year's time I posted more than 40 videos on YouTube. Although I did plan to just be able to post weekly to be able to encourage, inspire, and just give you lessons that I have learned through this journey. But just to see that accomplishment, um, to go back and view some of my own content and to know that I did come through with that, you know, you get on this roll and you're like, yeah, we're moving, then all of a sudden it halts. And so it can almost feel like you're a failure. But I, I've come to understand that a pause is not a defeat. It's actually an opportunity to continue being victorious if you put everything in perspective. And that's what I've had an opportunity to do and I wanna share some of that with you, hopefully to encourage you on this journey. I find it interesting that as I was on my hiatus, you know, you can get to a point where you're thinking others are just continuing and so you gotta get back in the race, you gotta keep moving. But I found that some of those YouTubers that I follow and that I look up to and who inspired me also took the hiatus and took a moment to just breathe. So it lets me know that it's necessary and um, that it's all right. It's all good if you have to pause for the cause on some things. For me, it's been transitional because um, I went from, you know, just being home, stay-at-home mom, taking care of my babies, to then um, being led to homeschool my children and then to take that on and now be in a place where I am serving with other homeschool moms to help them navigate their journey of homeschooling. How everything comes full circle, God only knows. And I'm just grateful for this time and for this process. So while I was away growing in business, what were some things that I gained as lessons that I wanna share with you today? One would be that anything that is purposeful will require sacrifice. There is nothing that should remain the same when we're being stretched and some area. For me, that was starting a new business and learning to lead, to be a leader in the sense of leading communities of families. Um, yes, sure, I've had leadership roles and been in the classroom and done workshops and things like that through another business, but this was a stretch in an area that I had been really prayerful about when it came to first understanding the business side of things. And so for me, that doesn't come naturally and easily. And so I spent time really making sure that I was doing things and setting up things properly. And maybe there'll be a space for me to share some of those um, tips that I've gained along the way. You may have seen the video, the last video, where I was showing my our summer, you know, and if you could look at that video, you could really think, God, we were, we had a great summer and, you know, the kids stayed busy and we went so many places. But the reality is, is that my kids worked with me this summer. They spent much of the summer just following me through my process. It was not all glam. It was not all spectacular. That many days it was like, mommy, you working again. Mommy, you at the computer again. Mommy, we got to go buy more supplies, you know, and I knew that what I was doing this summer in preparation for the business that I had to start, um, it was gonna require time, attention, and it was gonna require some time being taken away from them. And in the moment, it could appear as if the things that you are doing are neglectful, but really it's all coming to a head, so to speak, so that our children are benefiting and gaining from what has been placed in us. And so I just wanna encourage you that if you are being stretched in some area, if God is trying to propel you and elevate you in something that 
you can't just want to keep holding on to what is familiar because it's going to be discomfort when it comes to doing anything new, but it's going to be worth it all. And for everything that you have to lay down, it doesn't mean that it is permanent. It may be for a season. It may be permanent. It may be some things you have to give up. But that's my second lesson. I'm gaining perspective. I'm not looking for everything to equal out. There are seasons where I'm going to have to attend more to one area and another season where another area may be great. It would be like saying if I just had a newborn child, yeah, we could yell self-care, self-care, self-care. But the reality is if that child is waking every two to three hours to feed, some things ain't going to be cared for when it comes to you. You do good just to wash your face and brush your teeth. That's a victory. But I think sometimes we put on this pressure that the house has to be clean and that we want to get it all lined up. For me, I am just at a place where I want perspective. I want to understand what God is saying in this area and in this season of my life and to gain insight and wisdom into what needs to be put to the side, what needs to be picked up, what needs to be watered, what needs to be planted at another time. All of those things come from just spending more time and gaining a greater understanding of where I am in my life. And it does not come easy. It does come with much prayer and much sacrifice. But I just don't want to be busy doing it. You know, um, I've said that in other videos. I just don't want to be putting my hands to everything and spinning wheels and it not be yielding the fruit that it's supposed to be yielding because I'm out of time or I'm out of season doing it. Lesson three would be that sometimes you have to walk until you see the horizon. Officially about to run. Let me correct myself. Walk. <laughs> my first 5k oh, sorry, emphasis God. on walk <laughs> please excuse my my buddy my pal over here who <laughs> is doubting the walking skills my walk's Woo. gonna look more do y'all see that let me show you my number because this is legit see my number that makes it official somehow you know in the beginning of a journey it just feels like you know you're just stuck sometimes in the, the routine of just trying to figure your way out and just try to find like they say your way through the tunnel or Sometimes your eyes just be shut as you go through the tunnel, like, Lord, you just don't have to do it. Um, but there are such hard parts when you're going to a new place that it can feel like, is there any bright spot? Is there any sun? Or is it going to come out enough? It's going to come out tomorrow. I need you to come out today. That sort of thing. But um, it's just like, no, hope. I'm not there yet. But I just want you to know that I have had to walk this thing out when it comes to this journey of being home and then transitioning to um, being a homeschool mom and then a work from home mom. It didn't all just flash before me overnight. It's been some work, but I can see where everything is connecting now. I can see where links of things that seemed oblivious and had no value to me all make sense, all seem to have come to a head for me. And so I just want to say that you have to walk into the see the horizon. Don't stop. Don't forfeit the plan um, by giving up too soon because um, your steps are ordered. And um, if you continue in this journey, God has already graced you with the strength to do this thing called motherhood because ain't nobody but God can do that and help you through that process. Um, but even in the process of the journey he has you in with whether it's entrepreneurship or whether it's writing something or whether it is putting out a, a, a book or an album, launching out and starting your own company or helping someone in some area of some need that you see, uh, solving some problem but it seems like, you know, you just don't have all the tools. But whatever it might be, walking it out until you see the horizon because the horizon is there. Um, it will peak, it will peak. There will be a mountain experience. You don't always, always stay in the valley. Uh, in the process of doing this business and all this learning and my brain being fried, I did have a chance to have some fun now. I did celebrate a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I was determined to, to just have some fun. I 
have to celebrate those moments. And if I give you nothing, it's to celebrate the small victories and not wait till you get to the horizon. Along the way, it's what's going to keep you so that when you see that horizon, you know, hey, this was all in the making. But you never arrive, but every step is a part of that process. And so thank you guys for hanging in there with me, sticking it out with me, and continuing along the way. I am revamping a lot of things, so if you can't click links on sites, by the way, I am an affiliate. I do put products that I have used, not something that I'm just talking about, but something I've actually used. I'm really just sharing the things that I use along the journey of being a home mom, work mom, uh, mom to be, stay at home, you name it. Um, and so you do help support this channel by clicking on those affiliate links. Uh, but all of that, either way, I just appreciate whatever you do. And it's just you in this video right now. And hopefully it will encourage you in some way. Be blessed.